Welcome everyone, thank you very much for coming. Um, the aim of uh, this session is to do four things. Um, first, I'm going to introduce myself uh, so you can know who's talking to you. Secondly, I'm going to um, give you a few reasons as to why you might want to be involved in development. Thirdly, I'm going to give you some sort of general points, my pointers as to what, what I think are, uh, are key aspects of a development economics career. And then finally, I'm going to try and give you some case studies, people that I've seen go into development and how they've done it. So starting with myself, um, I'm Dan, I'm a PhD student here at UCL. Um, I was also an undergrad. And I have gone on to do some career BI fellowships. So I spent a couple of years in the presidency of Nigeria. Um, I've seen uh, a lot of ODIs because I've been involved in the um, application process for the ODIs over the last few years. I'm also, um, I was for a couple of years an associate researcher at DFID, and I am um, still working with the presidency of Nigeria as an associate economist. So I've seen hundreds, maybe thousands of people get into development in different ways and had a bit of experience myself. Um, so I hope this provides me with a, a broad enough platform to sort of give others advice. And actually, we've done this session for the last three or four years in, in UCL, and it seems to have helped people. People have gone on to the ODI, people have gone in um, to, to development careers, and so hopefully I'm looking at uh, 10 faces who can say exactly the same thing in a few years. So that's me. Does anyone want to sort of ask a bit more about my, yeah? It's a fellowship scheme that sends postgraduate economists to the developing world. So you've got to have a master's, so it's a little bit further down the line for you guys. But actually, I'm going to talk later about it at the career session that's going on from six. Um, I'll mention it towards the end of, of the experience section. So has anyone else got any questions? So why might you want to go into development? as an economist, because as an economist now, there's quite a range of opportunities of things you can do. You can work in the finance sector, you can work in government, you can work in the growing industry. What development will do is, firstly, it will give you a job that pays relatively well. The, the district, once you're in, the distribution of incomes is, uh, I would say, above, you know, to, to the average graduate salary and above. And once you get into multilaterals and you get into consultancy, you can earn a very good wage. So the first thing is that it provides a relatively stable income. That's you know, the kind of platform, that's what, what everyone needs from a career. But the second thing is that it's very interesting. So uh, colleagues of mine have worked in central banks, completely reforming the monetary system of a whole country. Um, so friends of mine have worked in the budget office and at times influence 20 billion US dollars worth of expenditures. They, if you work in, in high level, even if you work at grassroots, you'll see as your reforms go through, your name in the papers, you'll be involved in policy. So every day when you get up, you're engaging with something very interesting. Thirdly is it uses your economics. In a lot of institutions that economists are used in, they take you because you're numerate, because you've shown skill through your degree, but they're not actually using economic skills. Whereas a lot of what development's about is utilizing economics lessons to go on and change the way that actors, so that's individuals, households, and firms, behave to further development outcomes. So you're actually using what you've spent the last three and possibly four years learning. Fourthly, it's a very satisfying job. So um, it's very nice to get up every day and not just go into work and think about interesting issues. So every day I get up and I think about um, the structure of civil service reform. But you also are doing something that hopefully, in, in many cases, is contributing positively to the world. And there's not a tremendous lot of jobs where you can have such a clear link. So it's very refreshing to be able to get to the end of a week. And yes, it's you've worked hard. Okay. Yeah, are you here for the development? Yes. Thank you. It's very refreshing to be able to get to the end of a week having worked hard. 
and think, I actually achieved something. Now, if you're in a bureaucracy, so if you're in one of the uh, development organizations, it can be sometimes frustrating. But you're working towards very important aims. So friends of mine who work in DFID, they get frustrated with the DFID bureaucracy. But they can, at the end of the week, say, we've worked towards starting microfinance in Sudan. Uh, please, are you uh, here for the development talk? Uh, I've heard the talk before. OK, then I wouldn't come again. OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, friends, of, uh, let's take Sudan as an example. Uh, one of my close friends has just gone to southern Sudan. And southern Sudan literally is starting from scratch. Um, they are having to build the, the buildings for DFID, so when I say DFID, Department for International Development, UK aid. They're building the buildings that DFID is going to be located in. They are building the roads to the, to the DFID buildings. There's, there's not hospitals, the nearest hospitals are outside the country. And so he's there really setting the foundations for the development of South Sudan. It's very likely the referendum will be that they'll split from North Sudan. And so a country will start, and he can be from the start, setting up the institutions necessary for growth and for public infrastructure, for public services. Now that's a pretty refreshing thing to do, to be able to have that kind of impact. His partner is working for UNICEF out there, and every day she goes out and she immunizes children um, against uh, a whole host of uh, pathogens and uh, viruses. Again, what incredibly rewarding work. So it pays pretty well. It uses your economics. It is pretty interesting, at least most of the time. And it's very engaging and satisfying. So if you can find other careers like that, great. But this is one of them. So that's why I think you should go in. And what I want to do is talk about how that might happen. That's basically what we're talking about talking about today. The sheet that I've given you runs through the, the main points. So I'm going to start with the academics because I'm assuming most of you are still at undergrad. How many people here in the first year? Second year? Third year? Great, okay, so a nice distribution. Everything I say to the first years, don't worry if you're a third year. <laughs> There's a lot of things you can do as a third year, and uh, if you're a first year, don't worry about all the experience the third years have already got, there'll be opportunities for you. 